The Silfeed project aims at developing a new value chain from wood to food thanks to the Arbium technology that converts wood residues into proteins for feed applications. During four years, the consortium of partners led by Arbium focused on three main activities. The demonstration of the scale-up of Arbium process to ensure technical validation of her process. The validation of performance of Silpro, Arbium's protein-rich ingredient in aquaculture. And the comparison of the environmental performance of Silpro against other protein sources to confirm its sustainability value. Today, we're proud to share our key achievements with you. Within the Silfeed project, and with the support of Silfeed Consortium, Arbium successfully scaled up its technology and is now ready for industrial deployment. Throughout the project, Arbium has optimized the wood-to-food process at lab scale with rice processum, pilot and pre-industrial scale with BPF and BBEU. More than 50 runs, ranging from a few liters up to 10 cubic meter scale, were performed by Arbium and its partners to produce Arbium's protein-rich ingredient, Silpro. One by one, technologies and equipment's design have been validated for all the unit operations to produce Silpro at large scale. Rice Processum offered its screening platform to optimize fermentation conditions, while BPF and BBEU assisted Arbium to cross the valley of death of the demonstration scale. Arbium is now considering the industrial deployment with confidence and look forward to the next step in its way to commercialization. More than 10 tons of protein ingredient have been produced enabling the demonstration of this production from a technical standpoint and dissemination of samples for further testing by feed manufacturers. As a final part of the Silfeed project, a successful large-scale Atlantic salmon feeding study evaluating Silpro as a raw material in salmon grow-out diet has been completed with promising results. The 16-week trial was conducted by Matis, Icelandic Food and Biotech R&D, as part of the Silfeed Consortium. Silpro was included in salmon diets at levels of 10% and 20%, replacing a plant protein mix comprised of soy protein concentrate and wheat gluten while maintaining fish meal at constant levels. Results showed the replacement of the plant protein mix by Silpro had no statistical difference in performance compared to conventional protein ingredients in terms of fish growth rates of the Atlantic salmon at up to a 20% inclusion level in the diets. These results complement the smaller-scale trials performed two years ago on salmon fingerlings, where similar results were obtained. Additional data will be available at the end of the project as we continue to analyse fish welfare from the trial, including gut microbiome and immune factors. Silpro shows good environmental performance compared to other viable protein sources to be used in fish feed. This is in particular valid for potential impacts to climate change. Other environmental impact categories, for instance connected to water and land use, are more difficult to compare as they are to a less degree reported and methods are under development. Environmental performance has been studied with the aid of Life Cycle Assessment, LCA, where the work in Silfeed has used methods proposed for new product-oriented environmental legislation in Europe. The LCA work, therefore, both contributes to understand the life cycle of Silpro and progress knowledge on which environmental issues to report and how. Silfeed has validated process performance product performance in aquafeed and environmental performance of the wood-to-food alternative. Silfeed contributes to the reduction of the European protein gap by offering a nutritional and sustainable alternative to expand the food production potential and increasing food security in Europe.